Hello everybody, my name is Sabrina Light Fairy from Mary Child Slab, and today we'll be doing construction. Better this time, I promise. So yeah, what is this about? So construction. So before we get into it, on the reasons you need construction. Why? Well, construction are basically uh, basically how you can build congruent angles, how you can draw arcs, how you can make perfectly equilateral triangles. You might be thinking, why does this all matter for the regions? Well, for the regions, this is very important, especially when you're doing the geometry regions. So you have to draw many of these angles and stuff like that. So, you will probably need a compass. Yeah, you will definitely need a compass. So if you don't have one, go get one. And if you don't have one at home, then you're screwed. So, first of all, we're going to be copying angles. So how do we construct angle D, E, F, which is congruent to angle A, B, C? All right. So take compass you need it. First step, very important. And let's also bring this down a little bit. So we're going to be using instructions from here. And we're going to be using circles as a replacement for our compass. So place compass points at B. So you should place, you should draw these two first. And now place your compass point on B. For us, we'll be taking a circle, maybe sizing it down a little bit. And we'll put the center at B. And then, now, we draw an arc that goes through ray BC and ray BA. And now, we draw the points where our arc intersected the rays, so R and S. Of course, the arc is a visualization of an angle, and it doesn't actually intersect, but uh, this will help us draw more stuff. So, uh, this is probably a bit too big, actually, you know. I'm going to use a smaller circle. So, now do the same thing. And, and where we're intersecting, we call this R and this S. So now, place the compass point on R and the pencil on S. Make a small arc. So, we want a compass point on R. We want our pencil on S, so S has to be on the outer circumference, which I know I can do with just the right amount of effort, there. So now, they want us to draw a small arc. Actually, you know what, I'm going to switch up the names of the points. R and S. So, so now, we place our compass point on R and our pencil on S and we draw an arc, a small arc in detail. Uh, I should probably reuse this. And now, what does it want us to do? With the same compass opening, so the same radius, place point on T, well, oh wait, Place compass point at B. Place point at T and draw an arc intersecting the previous at S. So, let's move our tension over here. So, if we have E, let's place our point on E. Then we can make an arc like this. Like this. That's better, a bit. And it wants us to place our point on T, the intersection, and draw, make, no, draw arc into 
intersecting the previous arc at F. So T, did we leave a circle? No. No, that's too big. Maybe that's better. And it wanted it to intersect the previous. Let's make it bigger. It wanted to intersect the previous. It, uh, wait a second. They said same compass opening. So, yeah, that's about the same compass opening. So, now we place point at T. And we may draw an arc intersecting the previous at F. No. So naturally, it's going to be a smaller arc. And intersecting the previous at what we call F. Draw a ray that goes between both E and F. All right? And boom, these two should now be congruent angles. There, D, E, F, congruent, A, B, C. How did I switch that up? Sorry, folks, this is a mistake. It's supposed to be this. All right, so construct an equilateral triangle with side equals A, B using this line segment, A, B. What? Place your compass point on A and your pencil on B. Make a quarter circle. So, it's going to be a bit of a big compass. What? Okay. So, point on A and pencil on B. So, that means that our point has to be here and B has to be just along the circumference. Yeah, that should be good. And now it wants us. Okay, yeah. Make it should be a bit bigger. I'll make the size. Yeah, that should be good. So now it wants us to make a quarter circle. So our pencil is on B. And we're making a quarter circle. So we'll go one quarter of the way around. So we will stop at A. This is definitely not what I envisioned. What I envisioned was a more perfect quarter circle. Okay, hopefully that's good. So now, compass point on B and pencil on A. Is that it? No, that's not it. And now, make a quarter circle as well. Obviously, this is approximate because I'm not Picasso. You will be better because you're using a compass, which is an actual mechanical tool. And now, you take the point where they intersect, you call it C. You draw AC. You draw AC. And boom, there's your equilateral triangle. So, those are our constructions for today, 2 out of 12. Thank you everybody for watching, and we'll see you next time.